Okay. Thanks, folks. Welcome to the Zoning Board of Appeals Administrator meeting, 4 o'clock on whatever day this is, Thursday, May 9th. Um, we are, we have one application in this hearing. I'm opening the hearing. And um, would the applicant like to identify themselves? When you do, please say your first and last name and where you live. Who will be presenting? Hi, it's, it's me, Henry Chen. Hi, Henry. Oh, hi, and uh, the house is at 249 Crescent Street in Northampton. And uh, one moment, Henry. Uh, Tim just joined. So, oh, yeah, let me, oh, and let me make him co-host. Tim's another consultant of Henry. Thank you. I assume Tim might be able, someone may be able to uh, share a couple plan sheets just for ease. I can pull them up on my laptop separately, but uh, since I did receive them, it would be good if we could just show them while you're talking about them. Hi. I'm sorry. Um, did you want me to do something? I'm sorry. It's why Zoom had to update as soon as I. I know. Same. I every time I try to Zoom, it decides it has to update, and that's more important than our schedule. That happened yes, to me. I guess. So six I'm sorry. Ago. Did you want me to go through something? Yes, uh, please. If you are going to present the application, give well, us a little quick so walk through. We would, but yes. Um, I'm so, sorry, one uh, second. I, I know it's your formality. I, um, um, Sarah, yeah. are you technically supposed to ask for general public comments? I know it's a different not, type of year. Not yet. I'm going to ask for the applicant to present something about the application first, and uh, and then I will ask for public comment. Oh, I, I meant questions. public comment outside this matter, general public comment. Oh, we have to do that for the administrator hearing? I, I'm not sure, but I, I think it's maybe just for formality, we can okay. note that there are no other people present. I mean, you know, we Excuse can. Excuse me, folks. We yeah. have a um, uh, one thing that we um, that we do generally at a regular meeting anyway, is ask if there's anyone here from the public who has anything they need to bring up to um, to the zoning administrator. Uh, that has nothing to do with what is currently on our agenda. With no response, we move on to opening the hearing on the application uh, uh, for the Crescent Street project. Please, um, um, please present your, uh, give us your name and uh, where you live and give us a brief rundown of the project. Okay, my name is Tim Nyhart. I'm a partner with my wife with TNT Consulting. She's a structural engineer. Uh, we do design work on the site. Uh, so Henry, Mr. Chen had called us uh, inquiring about two issues with this house. He wanted to extend the back of his dining room so we could put a larger table in, which is a rear addition. We decided to go two stories since uh, the bedroom above was quite small and that would uh, increase that size. It does not go beyond any of the existing footprint of uh, the size footprint of the uh, existing structure. Uh, the other issue was the third floor there are two bedrooms and a bathroom up there unfortunately going up those stairs uh, which are very intricate very nice um, detailed stairs but the headroom is very very short it's probably it's less than even six feet going up the stairs so he inquired about extending a very small uh, rear dormer to raise that section of the roof. The more we looked into it and the more the contractor looked at the issues with the roof, everybody concurred price-wise and uh, time-wise 
it would be wise to take off the existing roof. The roof was in, is in very poor shape. If you look at the ridge, it is broken. Um, it has dropped it significantly in the center. It is pushing out the top of the, uh, I'll call them pony walls. They're about two feet, six inches in height for the third floor. It's created a structural issue with the, the building. Uh, so when we looked at it, and the decision was that we could meet zoning with regard to your definition of uh, structures height, that we could actually remove the roof, add on regular walls for the third floor, and put a lower pitch roof on and meet the requirements of zoning. I know that, as, as you said, that the, uh, the zoning for the height of the roof is at the main point of the roof itself. Uh, we've changed, again, we've changed the pitch of the roof so we can make sure that we are below that enough that if there's any discrepancy, when we actually do get to the third floor, finished floor and know exactly what the distance is to the existing grade, we can make any sort of modifications to absolutely make sure that we meet that requirement of 35 feet for the center. And that's about it. Um, Nathan, would you um, read aloud for us? I apologize because of uh, technical difficulties. I, I can't read out the um, uh, your notes on exactly which section and um, numbers of the zoning or ordinance that we are looking to permit. Yes, give me one second. Let me bring it up. So the applicable laws are the UL, URB dimensional requirements uh, in the URB attachment. That's urban residence B, urban residence B zoning district. Second, um, three fifty dash two point one, the definition of height. Um, three fifty dash nine point three a seven, which has the requirement for the findings permit trigger, and section three point two of the ZBA bylaw, which is which is about the the zoning administrator and so it can be heard by one member of the zba acting as a zoning administrator those are the four things i mentioned in my report thank you uh so uh tim or henry are you uh, able to perhaps share a um a simple diagram for us Uh, yeah, that's no problem. Okay. Very unless well, you want to do that. it, Tim. I'm Thank sorry. you. Tim, unless you want to do it, you could talk to the plans better than I could. Thank you, Henry. Thanks for putting up, Henry. Um, so as we take a look at that, um, I'll ask Nathan, were there any comments from DPW regarding this application? Excuse me, uh, Sarah, for some yeah. reason, I am not seeing the diagram. Hey, I don't think he's put it up yet. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. DPW had no comments. They reviewed it quickly and they um, had they didn't have any comments. And Very good. Right. Thank you. Is this, um, Nathan, you set it up so Henry could share? Oh, oh, um, yeah, he's the co-host, um, so he should okay. be able to share. And me and uh, Henry and Tim and Doug, if you have issues with sharing on the screen, I right now I have just one screen, but I, I'll be able to share, I think. So if you have any technical difficulties uh, and it's hard to share, let me know and I'll share the plans you submitted. Oops. Sorry, let me mute something. Oh, oh yep, yeah. Henry has. Yep. Great. Ooh, pretty. Wow, where is that? 
Maybe Henry will tell us after he shows us the what we need to see. There we go. All right. So very good. Yeah, so, that second sheet will indicate the um, roof height. So here we go. if you look at the rear elevation over at the right near the top of the chimney, I have put the center of the designed roof uh, dimensions on there. And to the right of that, uh, there is a line with a dimension of uh, a little over three feet to the top of the ridge to the ridge line it is the 35 foot line so we have about um uh, the four existing... and a half inches or more to play with and again the bottom note which says a which is, says critical note the overall height must be verified on site since the height of the building is controlled by the city of Northampton zoning. It shall be the responsibility of the contractor to verify the total height will not violate the zoning height. After the ceiling joists are set, dimensions shall be checked and verified prior to the ridge being set. And the roof pitch may be adjusted in order for the full compliance to zoning to be achieved. So what, what I'm trying to get at is we will double check and make sure that we meet, meet the requirements. We have about four and a half inches plus and minus to play with, and uh, we will definitely make sure that that uh, it is in compliance. All right. Thank you. Um, uh, at this point, I mean, part of the format here being a finding um, is that it is um, not presumed to be particularly controversial or detrimental to the neighborhood. But so at this point, I want to open it up to see if we have comments or is there anyone else here to uh, to speak on this? Uh, um, neighbors or butters? Do we have any comments from neighbors or butters? Sure, I, I'm here just Thank in you. case there was I'm at 253 Crescent Street, right next door. Um, I decided to attend just in case there was somebody in the neighborhood who was putting up some issues about it. Um, we are um, fully in, you know, in favor of allowing this change to happen next door to us. Very good. And for the record, that's Ellen Augarten. Right. All right. Um, thank you. So let's see. Henry, would you just um, uh, go flip to the next page? We'll just page through it briefly. There you go. Setting your levels. That's the rear uh, design of the ex extension to the diamond. Uh -huh. Very good. Those are cross sections. To the left is the existing house with the new third floor walls and roof and the right side will be the rear addition first floor dining room and the second floor is the extension to the bedroom okay and that, those are structural uh, plans for the uh, uh, floor system and the roof system up on the second, uh, third floor all right. And those are just details, structural details. Uh huh. I'll let the uh, building inspector look at things like quantity of insulation for the stretch code, et cetera. Next. Yes. And we make sure of that for sure. Uh, that's the last page, but I'll flip back to the first page that we uh, skipped. All right. All right. Is there uh, anyone else 
here who would like to speak to this application? One thing, Sarah, I mean, maybe yes. it's not necessary, but there was also a survey plan um, submitted by the applicant. I'm not sure. I mean, up to you to decide if it's worth sharing or not. Uh, well, our finding is specifically around our jurisdiction question. It's around the height, correct? It's it's both. Um... It's the massing. Yes. Yeah, so you should see a plan, a site plan. If that's possible, I bet he'll look that up. Yep, give me a second to bring that up. Thanks. Uh, maybe zoom in just a little bit because it's pale pink. Thanks. All right, this is one of the best, you know, sharing of a, on a Zoom that I've had in a while. Thank you. All right. So the um, the two-story addition uh, is the, is that the dotted pink line? Or is that the same footprint? The addition is the green on the, the green. Okay. right side. The uh, so the, the dotted is the old deck. They're just using the same footprint of that deck. Yes. Yeah, very good. All right. Well, I have no other concerns. Um, we can um, go back to the regular hearing. And uh, I don't think, uh, did Mr. McDonald want to say anything? All right. And Sherry, did you have any questions? The only question I had, and I think that last picture addressed it, was there was a question that uh, in the information we got about it changing the amount of open space, but it looks like the, the change is marginal. So. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, and the open space, we're going from 49% to 48%. Hmm. All right. Well, on that note, I'm going to close the public hearing and um, so thanks folks have had enough and um, now I'm going to render a decision Thank you. I'm going to approve the application for a zoning finding as presented it's a nice little you know shortcut legal language there as presented on the uh, on the basis that it is not more detrimental to the neighborhood and in fact is a great project wow. there it is officially on record thank you so much appreciate it it's been a little nice thank you, thank you. all right uh, Nathan is there a any other formality of, I don't need to uh, have a vote or a second to close the public meeting. No, I don't believe so. It's just one thing to Henry and uh, his consultants. Um, you know, there are some appeal period and other next steps. So I think I already communicated with you uh, before the meeting, but you know, we can talk about that after, uh, you know, after the hearing or tomorrow, so. Um, yeah, not nothing really. I mean, while the board is here, um, there is a, probably going to be a, a sign hearing on the 13th of June. There's an application that just arrived, but um, ah. besides, yeah, besides okay. that, yeah. um, yeah, uh, I'll, so I write to you, but uh, besides that, um, I think this might be it. <laughs> so, okay, very yeah. good. So we don't have another hearing at 5.30 this evening. No, no, no hearing today at all. So all right. are you? All right. Yep. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Nathan. Thanks. Thank you, Sarah. Good work. And I, I'm going to look up those uh, those drawings again because I, uh, I like the way you did them. Oops. All right. All right. Thanks, everyone. Meeting, Thank public meeting is closed. Bye-bye.